for the Mars series. Mars through the houses. Mars in the 10th house to be exact. So if you happen to have a Mars in the 10th house or you know somebody that has a Mars in the 10th house, if you're just interested in learning about Mars because you know you want to learn from me and everything like that, you know. <laughs> Welcome to my humble Levode. My name is Crew, aka a rainy storm, your cosmic root work astrologer specializing in evolutionary astrology. So if you're interested in learning more about your past lives, if you're interested in learning about your destiny here in this lifetime, uh, you definitely want to hit me up. For, um, I'm doing general readings at this moment currently um, for tip and donation base as well as barter and trade and things like that and so if you're interested you could definitely hit me up I also have um, healing your chironic wound journey as we are transiting through uh, this Aries Chiron and Aries energy right now Mercury is actually conjoining or has conjoined and will conjoin again with Aries uh, it was March 10th or March 12th March 20th, uh, also too, it will conjoin April 15th and also as well as May 7th. So if you're interested in learning a little bit deeper of how to alchemize, learning a little bit more about what part of Aries or what part of your chart that Aries is happening in your life, you can definitely check that out as well as how to support and alchemizing that energy in your own personal birth chart, okay? Also too, if you would like to buy me a ginger beer, Okay, to support this channel on my coffee page, you could definitely hit those links below. And also, too, on my coffee page as well, or my Kofi coffee page as well. If you would like to, you can subscribe by pushing the follow button. And anytime I have updates on that particular channel, there will be a direct uh, link sent straight to your email. And you can check to see, like, updates, you know, newsletters and stuff like that as well, too. So, I hope to see y'all. Check it out. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell down below. And I hope to see y'all, you know, following along on the journey and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Mars in the 10th house. And I will also, I'll talk about Mars and then I'll talk about the energy of how it plays out in the 10th house. So Mars energy in general, right? This is where we talk about our vigor. This is where we talk about our vitality. This is where we talk about, you know, the energy that you, you embody when you're angry, okay it's also your sexual drive your sexual nature and how you can also alchemize that energy into creative energy okay um this is where you can also see your weapon of choice with mars here um you want to see what sign is there and you also want to see what's aspecting your mars but martian energy uh, the planet mars is like warrior style energy so it gets you up it gets you going um it up out the bed you know what i mean in the morning and things like that or just period your ambition, your drive, more passion, more energy, you know what I mean? Um, and things like that as well, too. So when you have Mars in the 10th house, 10th house ruling, Capricorn ruling over the 10th house, when this has to do with career, this has to do with public standing, this has to do with like structural things, long-term goals, things like that. And also just the legacy that you want to leave behind in the world, like what it is that you're leaving behind um, to the world and it's also the top of the usually the top of the chart um, as well it is the top of the chart but also where sometimes the MC can be located as well and so what is it that you what what is it that you are leaving I would say what Mars going into this energy of leaving something behind what is it that you want to leave to the world what is it that you want to leave to your communities and things like that that's a big thing for Mars here is like their legacy what are they leaving here to the world also too you can see somebody who has a very strong focus in the work that they do specifically their career or their life's missions and purpose sometimes to the point where they do neglect and can neglect um their personal relationships as well as their home life as well because it's all this energy and fire this martian energy is going into um, their work and also just like what it is that they're leaving behind so just make sure that you find a cool balance between the work and your intimate connections and relationships as well here and also to 10th house usually squares the seventh house and also the first and also the fourth which is personal relationships and home okay so just or opposition i should say from the 10th house for fourth house so just make sure that you're trying to even as you are going towards the bigger goals and dreams and stuff like that you're taking time to balance out the energy uh with your personal relationships as well here too um also too you could see somebody who especially with mars in the 12th 
house or in the tenth house who has conflicts in their career. They can put a lot of energy towards their, uh, you know, long term goals and things they want to leave behind in career. But there could also be conflicts here too, like that Martian energy can be like that battle royale energy. So there can be squabbles in the, you know, the career place and things like that. Um, also too, there could also be with Mars in the 10th house by like this, any means necessary, because usually Mars in the 10th house is like a powerhouse kind of energy. And it can also be very domineering as well too, with this energy here. Um, they put a lot of focus, like I said, and passion into their longstanding public image career, things like that. And like I said, legacy that they want to leave behind, but sometimes they can go about it like any means necessary. You know, Martian energy can be the cuts. So sometimes it can be on the other side of things can be like this willingness to cut through anything that stands in this way. So you just want to be careful when it comes to like pursuing your dreams, pursuing your desires and things like that, because there can just be like there could be like a want or a need to want to sever things that like stands in your way of getting to like the greater goal. Sometimes it's okay to cut things, you know, and be like, okay, kind of have to put that to the side. But if it's into the detriment of your personal relationships that you actually care about, as well as like your, um, your um, family relationships and stuff like that. And just when it comes to you, you just want to kind of weigh out your options when it comes to that energy as well, too. Um, also, too, uh, you can experience character defamation, uh, character defamation as well with um, uh, Mars in the 12th house. So basically like com conflicts with other people that are like assassinating or trying to assassinate your character or come for your character with Mars in the 12th house. Um, so just definitely check out for that. Not to say that you have to give into it, but just to say that those things could also potentially pop up with Mars in the 12th mars and i don't know why i want to keep saying the 12th house mars in the 10th house you also could see with mars in the 10th house um like i said just imbalances um this is also somebody who has vision granted you want to see the aspects in whatever sign is aspecting this energy but usually when they're in fullness of this energy they have vision for the future kind of like mars in the 11th house but mars in the 10th house is like they have like a bigger vision for the world and like the things that they want to see manifested into the world so like i said there could just be a lot of passion fire and energy that goes into these particular things so that's a little bit of what i have in mars in the oh also too one thing i do want to mention as well because 10th house can usually rule like residential i know we think about fourth house with residential which we can but uh cap that cap energy that capricorn kind of energy 10th house energy you can also see somebody who uh, puts a lot of energy into like their res their place of residence or building on the land and things like that as well too. Um, residencies, uh, building homes, structural places. Because Capricorn or the 10th house wants to make sure that you have somewhere to like foundationally base, right? Kind of like the 4th house, but the opposite of the 4th house is the 10th house. So they want to build on those structural home structures and things like that too. So you can also see that there as well with Mars in the 10th house. But that's all I have for Mars in the 10th house. Once again, make sure if y'all are interested in supporting my channel, you can buy me a ginger bed. Also to subscribe to my Kofi page by clicking the follow link so you can stay updated as well. And also to the Chironic, uh, Healing Your Chironic Wounds classes is available. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because I love to see y'all's comments, okay? And I'll see y'all on the next one. We are going to close out this week with Mars in the 12th house and we are going to be moving into jupiter in the houses through the houses after this and i was going to say venus no jupiter after this okay all right you already know what it is it's a rainy stone checking and checking out without a doubt i will see y'all on the next one deuces